Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about higher order functions in Python. Higher order functions are also known as first class functions, which means functions that can take other functions as parameters and also return other functions. And since everything in Python is an object, we can treat functions as such. So to give you a code example of this, this higher order functions concept, uh, we have this list of strings, we have some car brands, names, McLaren, Toyota, Ford. Uh, we are going to apply the built in functions strip and lower to remove the extra spaces from the end and the beginning of each string and normalize them to lowercase. So our function to perform this will be like this. Normalize grants, grant list, normalize Brands. Now I'm going to iterate through it item in the list, apply the strip and the lower function. Finally, adding normalized string to our list of normalized brands here. So finally, I'm going to return this new list here. So that's our function. We take a list, we create this new list that will receive the new strings that will be normalized uh, going through each item in the list received as parameter then we apply strip to remove spaces lower to turn them into lowercase return the new strings so to test this we are going to create car brands normalized and call our new function passing car brands here finally we are going to print the result okay so let's see how it goes Okay, perfect. So you can see there are no extra spaces here and they are all lowercase. So our, our function works. Uh, but uh, this function can be refactored to be more generalist. Functions can also be treated as objects meaning we can have things like a list of functions. Then we can iterate over them and apply the values in a more dynamic fashion. So uh, let's change our function to do this. So first I'm going to create a new list here. I'm gonna call normalization functions. I'm gonna list strip and lower okay so what we are going to change in our function itself we are also going to expect a list of functions here as a parameter and then
we are going to create a second for loop for loop called for func in functions grant Punk grant and we can remove these two lines here so what's what's different so now we go through each item in the strings list like we did before but we also go through the functions list that we are going to apply in the second for loop so for each brand this for loop will apply a function here in this list this, this list can be as long as you want it can have as many functions as you want it doesn't have to be built in functions you can create your own functions and add to this list but uh, these two are a good example of how this works so let's see if our function still works as we expect so i have oh of course i have to pass our new list of functions here i added this extra parameter but i didn't change this line here where i call the function so that's why this error missing one required positional argument so okay it should work now okay perfect we have the same result we had before So now our function normalize brands expects both lists and we can create this more generalist uh this generalist function we could even change its name to something like apply functions to list and change brand list to string list for instance then we change it here let's change brand for item and change it here and here um, normalize let's change everything from brands to items here here let's change how we call it here let's see if it still works okay it works so you, you see how this function is way more generalist than the first one so it just applies anything you have in this list to anything you have on this list so it's a very general function that, that that's the beauty of how higher order functions work so that's it please leave a like and subscribe for more content bye